Hello and welcome to the sixth tutorial in the jQuery basic series and we're going to be looking at the hide and show effects. There are several other effects that you can use, there's just too many just to create tutorials for it or to have it in this one tutorial. If you want to check out the others just have a look at W3 schools or you can message us directly. Uh, for this tutorial we'll be using the base code from tutorial 2, there'll be a link in the description to the source code. The two effects we're going to be using, like I said, was hide and show. So let's just go ahead and open up our index file in a text editor. And then we're going to also open up our JavaScript file that has the jQuery document ready method in. So let's just go back to our index file. And in here, we want to create a couple of things. We're going to say div, copy and paste that to save time did not want to do that and in here we're going to say hide in here we're going to put show we're going to assign each div with its own unique ID for this one we're going to put hide and as you guessed it for this one we're going to put show so the next thing we're going to do is add a p tag and in here we're just going to put some text can be whatever you want and in this jQuery document ready method what we're going to do is dollar which states that we're doing jQuery we're going to put the selector and we're going to select this one and then this one so the first one will be hash because it's an ID so hide dot click so when it's been clicked function and semicolon and then here what we're going to do is dollar because jQuery again quotation marks will affect every p tag and for now there is just the one we we'll put dot hide so it will basically hide it when this uh, element is clicked and as you guessed it we're going to do this again but for the show so every time the show one is clicked it will show it so we're going to put show and we're going to put that to show now we're ready to run so if we just run the index.html and if we click hide it hides the text if we click show it shows the text obviously if we just keep clicking it nothing happens after it's shown once same with the hide if we just keep clicking it because it's already hidden it it doesn't show anything at all but let's just show you something else as well for the show or the hide for example you can also add an optional speed parameter which basically specifies the speed of it showing or hiding so you can also have it in the hiding action right here um, we, you can even specify slow or fast which slow will make the action slow fast will make the action fast or we can just specify milliseconds we're just going to specify some milliseconds for a thousand if we go back to our web browser refresh if I click hide it does it instantly but if I click show it does it very slowly it's over one further milliseconds and like I said we can put fast as well so fast just the word fast and if we go back I'm actually nope sorry it needs to be in quotation refresh and now it hit it but it was obviously a lot faster and again like I said you can also put slow in there as well so you can also put an optional callback parameter which is a function to be executed executed after the hide or show method has completed or any other effect has completed we'll learn more about callback functions in a later chapter and the final one I'm going to show you is I'm going to comment this out for now and do dollar quotation marks p you can do dot toggle and what this basically means is if I click show and it's visible it'll hide it if it's hidden and I click show it'll show it so it basically toggles between the two different states instead of, instead of having two different buttons if I click show 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 obviously if I click hide while it was hidden it uh, I mean while it was shown then it would hide it but if I click now nothing happens if I click show I can click show as much as I want 
So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to fade an element. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description via a link. Also, you can comment on this video or directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for the source code will be in the description and also the source code that we just produced will also be in the description via links. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.